Hey folks, um, just a quick update. Uh, um, uh, many of you already know that uh, Gracie had a major health incident in Houston, Texas, and Crystal and I had to uh, um, take off in a hurry to get here and be with her. Um, uh, she uh, She's getting better. She's coming um, out of it now, and uh, she's still got a little procedure or a couple procedures to go um, but we almost lost her and uh, oh yeah um, but uh, I wanted to uh, say thank you to you all but send your prayers and well wishes and even your monetary assistance it uh, it really means the world to us to know that you care and uh, we'll we'll keep uh, keep you updated um, like I said she's she's on the mend now so uh, things are looking up and uh, we should be back to putting out regular videos before long in the meantime, um, just know that we appreciate you guys. We appreciate every single one of you. I got a new pair of underwear and Ollie won't let me have them. Or a new pack of underwear and Ollie won't let me have them. She said they're hers. <laughs> Howdy folks. Uh, just doing a pop in real quick. I'm on my way up to visit Gracie and the... Uh, rehab center she's doing really good she was uh, moved over to rehab a couple of days ago um, because her, uh, um, her, 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 she's, she's stable and doing uh, uh, so good she didn't need to be in the hospital anymore but uh, we had the option of her going to rehab for them to work with her and help get her strength and her muscles and everything back up or uh, go home and have home health come in and work with her a couple of days a week and uh, insurance approved rehab so we figured that was better they'll work with her for up to three hours a day um, for up to ten days and get her strength back up because uh, she really lost a lot of strength with this um, other than that she's uh, she's pretty much back to the same old Gracie so she's doing really good I wanted to once again say thank you to all of you guys for your prayers your love your support um, some of you even sent some monetary help and uh, you don't understand how appreciative we are for that. Um, times like these, it's uh, kind of hit you, hit you hard financially, and without your help, we'd really be struggling. So, um, I don't want to start crying again, but. Um, you guys made all the difference in the world. And again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Uh, maybe we'll be back in Quartzsite. I don't know if we'll be back there for the next video, but maybe after that. So, um, take care and God bless you. And um, see you later. And if you notice, uh, the windows are down because um, the AC quit working in this car. Uh, above 70% humidity in the mid to upper 80s. And no air conditioner here in Houston. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I'd rather be in quartzite with 100 plus degree temperatures than with all this humidity. It's... it's it's hard to deal with. Okay. She's just up here around the corner. I don't know about you, but I do not like hospitals. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How you doing?
I'm doing pretty good. I'm ready to go home. Doctor said in about five to seven days, I'm on my way home. I had a good visit with uh, Gracie and had dinner with her and uh, uh, stopped by. Well, earlier today, I checked the, um, the fuses and uh, everything and verified that the compressor on this air conditioner was running. Um, just wasn't blowing cold air, it was blowing hot air. So I went by Walmart and got a can of uh, R134A and uh, stuck that on there and lo and behold it was definitely low on Freon. I put Freon in it and buddy this thing will freeze you out of here now. So you know back when I was an AC man I was taught that Freon doesn't just, uh, Freon doesn't get used up. So if, uh, if you're low on Freon chances are you got a leak. So I'm going to see how it goes and uh, I didn't put any stop leak in it because that's uh, that's kind of the worst thing you can do for one of these things. So um, we'll see how long it goes and if it leaks back out again then I'll um, see about putting some leak detector in there and trying to find out where it's leaking. It might just be the seals in the compressor itself are getting old. I don't know but we'll see. In the meantime, we're cold.